morning viewers all over the world peace and blessing to you in the name of jesus christ i pray may the peace of christ that supersede all understanding rest upon you and your household this morning in the name of jesus christ welcome to start your day at the feet of our lord and savior jesus christ anyway you are we are live on youtube on facebook right now to the glory of god make sure you share the link and let us bless the name of the lord this morning for his mercy and his favor let us give him all the glory and all the honor let us magnify his holy name let us adore him let us give him all praise and worship this morning let us begin this morning by worshiping god with business of our thoughts and a flame of affection with all that is within us the bible says he that dwell in the sacred place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of almighty we will say on the lord he is our refuge our fortress in him alone we trust we trust you lord jesus christ we magnify you this morning we'll adore you we'll appreciate you if this is your own testimony as well, come on, open your heart and begin to appreciate him. Begin to give him all the glory. Begin to give him all the honor. Begin to chant your praise right now unto him. Begin to worship him in your own words. Begin to worship him in your own language. Begin to give him all the glory. Magnify his holy name. Psalm 8 verse 1 says, O oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Come and open your heart and begin to give him all the glory and all the honor. His name is excellent. Oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the heart. Come and open your heart and let us begin to worship him. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. If you know this song, come and join me in worship. And if you don't know it, just wave your hands and begin to glorify him. Begin to worship him, begin to adore him. Remember, we are at the feet of Jesus Christ this morning because we know that in Him, we live in Him, we move in Him, we have our being. Come and worship Him this morning. Anywhere you are watching me, make sure you share the link to the glory of God and let us magnify our great King, the King of the universe, the one who is and is to come. Blessed be His holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Psalmist says in 8 verse 1, How excellent is your name, O oh Lord, in all the earth. Regardless of what you have woke up with this morning, He is excellent in your life and He will fulfill all that concerns you according to His word today in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember His plan for you is not of evil but to prosper you and make you one with a difference in the name of jesus Christ. come and open your heart and join me in worship this morning how excellent is your name oh lord how excellent how excellent is your name oh lord how excellent is your name how excellent is your name how excellent is your name oh lord maria worship him and give him praise his name is excellent above all the earth mabel edward memory anna sarah join me gloria join me Anywhere you are watching me right now in the name of Jesus Christ, join me to give him all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Let us magnify his name together in the name of Jesus Christ. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. 
Linda, give him all the glory, give him all the honor, Vivian, give God all the glory. Lama, don't forget to appreciate him. Simon, no matter the situation that you are going through, God is good. Kathy, please go. Memory, Gloria, come on, worship him. Mr. Charles, come on, give him all the glory this morning. Anywhere you are listening to me, give God all the glory. Ima, worship him. Shelly, give him all the adoration. He is the mighty God. We worship him. We'll adore him. We glorify him this morning. Come and open your heart and begin to give him all the praise. Come and open your heart and begin to give him all the glory. Temple, give him all the glory. Peace. Don't forget to appreciate him. No matter what you are going through, God is faithful. Even when you are unfaithful to him, he remains faithful to you. Peace. Come and give glory to God. Come and worship him. Come and adore him as the word of God says and psalm 8 verse 1 how excellent is your name oh god in all the earth we have come this morning to give him all the glory are you about to go to bed right now come and worship with him worship your heart open your heart and worship him no matter how your day has been give him all the glory give him all the honor how excellent is your name oh lord how excellent how excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Come on, raise your hand above your head. And as you raise your hand above your head, you are raised above your limitation this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. As you raise your hands above your head, you are raised above the shortcomings in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree to your love this morning that as you raise your you raise your hand above your head, you are raised above that intimidation. You are raised above that failure. You are raised above that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your love this morning that today is the day of mercy, the day of favor, unlimited mercy, unlimited favor unending favor, unending mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though you do not know how the Lord will come through, but I want to let you know that He's a faithful God. He's working it out for you. Come and raise your hand above your head and worship Him. And as you raise your hands above your head, you're raising your, your, yourself above that nightmare that is threatening your success. You're raising your, 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 your hand above that failure, above that intimidation, that fear, that worries, that anxiety, that rejection in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, give him all the glory. Come on, give him all the honor. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Come on, give him all the glory and give him all the honor. He is worthy to be praised. How glorious is your name, oh Lord. How glorious, how glorious is your name, oh Lord. How glorious is your name. Thank you, Lord. How glorious is your name. How glorious is your name. Oh, Lord. How glorious is your name. How glorious is your name. How glorious is your name. Oh, Lord. How wonderful. God is so wonderful. Let me tell you, even if you have not seen it, I'm telling you, if you know, if God opened your eyes to see how he has been fighting for you, you will not stop praising him. You will not stop honoring him, regardless of the situation that you are going through. How excellent is your name. How glorious is your name. How powerful is your name, oh Lord. How powerful is your name? How powerful is your name? How powerful is your name? Oh Lord. How powerful is your name? How powerful is your name? How powerful is your name? Oh Lord. Him and begin to give him thanks, begin to praise him, begin to thank him for his mercy and his favor over your life, your household, your journey. Thank him for keeping you strong. Thank you for cheering you under the shadow of his protection. 
as you go out and is coming he, he watches over you day and night begin to worship him begin to adore him begin to magnify him thank him thank him for his mercy thank him for his unlimited love thank him for his abundant grace thank him because even in your mistake he loves you he cares for you come on give him honor give him all adoration because even in your worst situation he still loves you he is a faithful god in the name of jesus christ the bible says in the book of proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 it says he who will conceal their sin will not prosper come on open your heart and begin to confess your sin right now too the bible says we all are for short of the glory of god no one is righteous not even one but the good thing is if we confess our sin to him this morning he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness remember our sins in our thoughts in our in our deed in our words come begin to confess your sin right now if you confess it and turn from them they you will receive mercy this morning in the name of jesus christ begin to confess your sin before god remember pardon and mercy makes way for deliverance makes way for healing makes way for blessing and redemption forever i mean all your heart desires in the name of jesus christ come and open your heart and begin to thank him begin to thank him for forgiving you begin to thank him for breaking every sin power over your life begin to thank him for breaking every sin power over your family over your finances over your health over your life all those things that make you to do stupid things things that are not pleasing in the sight of god begin to thank him for breaking every sin barrier every that obstacles in your life in the name of jesus christ amen sing grace how sweet the sound that say a red light of like you we once once lost but now we'll find you are found by the blood of jesus christ and don't condemn yourself this morning remember the bible says in romans 8 that is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus who do not work according to the flesh but according to the spirit come and open your heart and begin to ask him to remove every stain of wrong in your life i want to open your heart right now and begin to say lord i've come to your presence this morning remove every stain of wrong Remove every stain of sin. Remove every guilt limiting me from my advancement. Be, let me be washed by your precious blood today. Let me be washed by your precious blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to ask him to remove, to remove, ask him to remove every stain of guilt from your life. Every stain of wrong, every stain of condemnation. Begin to ask him to remove every stain of guilt Ask him to uproot that root of sin, that root of wrong from your life. Ask him to wash you with his precious blood. Open your heart and begin to ask him right now. Come and begin to praise the Lord. Wash me from every stain of my wrong, every stain of my wrong, every stain of my sin. Do whichever that I've sinned against you, break every curse, break every sin power over my life in the name of jesus because someone open your heart and begin to confess that in your life begin to confess the lord remove every stain of wrong from me every stain of guilt every sin every wrong limiting me from my achievement i wash myself this morning with the blood of jesus christ i wash myself this morning with the blood of jesus christ i receive the mercy of christ this morning i receive his mercy this morning in the name of jesus christ come on begin to declare that to your life begin to declare that to your life right now begin to declare that in the name of jesus christ begin to declare begin because you have a faithful god who does not who, who is always happy to forget or to forgive your wrong if we confess it to the lord come on begin there are some things personal things in your life that you will not know begin to confess it right now he has promised that he will forgive you he will Remove that garment of wrong, that garment of shame in your life and clothe you with his favor and wash you with his precious blood. By the mercy of the Lord, be purged by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this to your life at this moment by the mercy of Jesus Christ. You are washed by that guilt of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. You are purged by that guilt of wrong in the name of Jesus Christ. You are purged from that condemnation in the name of Jesus Christ. You are purged from that guilt in your heart. That thing that usually reminds you of your past. You are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. We magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Once again, welcome to another Start Your Day at the feet of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I say once again, may the peace of Christ rest upon you your household, I mean, everything that you lay your hand on today and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you going through physical tension right now, spiritual tension or financial tension? Whatever may be the situation that is causing you to stress out, remember, you can be physically stressed, no doubt. But be conscious not to be spiritually stressed. I don't know the situation that you have woke up with this morning. I don't know the circumstances that you've been facing, struggling over the days or from morning to this moment. Maybe you're about to go to bed and you begin to think about what have I achieved today. You can be physically stressed. But be careful not to be spiritually stressed. Because you need your mind. You need your mind. That is why I said do not be spiritually stressed. Because even your pain, God is still saying something. Are you shaking by the challenging around or within you? Let me encourage you this morning. The thing that keep man from the sparing, downcasting, is not what we see but what we believe. You know, sometimes we see situations that challenge our faith in God, but depends on what you believe about it. If you believe that Christ is powerful more than the situation, you will manage your stress this morning. Because the thing that keeps us downcasting, fearful, worrying, is not what we see but what would believe what keeps you sad what keeps you negative is not what you see but what you believe that situation you're going through right now may seem discouraging with you it may seem hard but that should not cause you to fall into self-pity or talk in the level of your failure there's a song that says, he's able, abundantly able, listen to this song, to deliver and to save, our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in him. Listen to that song very well. God is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Our God is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Him. Do you? Do you trust in him? That is the question. I don't care if you have been swimming in hardship. What I do know that I serve a God who is able to take you out of that hardship within a thinking of an eye. But the question is, do you trust him? Do you believe him? Because sometimes people think, oh, my situation is, I don't even know, it's too deep. What tells you that is more than God? 
The problem you have is that you oftentimes raise your situation above God. Many of us, we turn our situation as God. We worship situation. When you are about, when you are supposed to worship the one who is able to summon situation, our problem is we oftentimes raise our challenges, our worries and anxiety above God. How? We talk more about our pain instead of the one who is taking care of that pain. The Savior, our Redeemer. He is able, abundantly able. Are you crying? Are you worried about what the devil will bring forth? Remember that he is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in him. Permit me to share this message with you this morning. As you begin your day or you're about to go to bed, let the song begin to ring in your heart that my God is able to deliver, to save, if only I can put my trust in him. It will make impossibility possible in my life in Jesus' name. Let this word begin to ring in your heart. 2 Thessalonians says, But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and guide you from evil. Listen to that. 2 Thessalonians says, The Lord is able, is faithful to establish you this morning, to guide you from evil. Our God is faithful to establish you, brethren, to establish your health, he is able. To establish your finances, he is able. And to keep you from whatever evil that may try to steal your happiness. By the mercy of the Lord, he shall establish you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare to your life this morning that the best will never stop coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your love this morning that the best will never and shall never stop coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I mean, the ability to exploit, the power to excel, the mighty to conquer, the strength to triumph, and the grace will be your passion in the name of Jesus Christ, you and your household. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall continue to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. No weapon that formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Brethren, whatever noise in your mind, I want you to know that that noise in your mind you have to be very careful because a man is what he thinks about all day long a man is what he thinks about all day long i don't know what you are thinking i mean a man's life is what is thought make it a man's life is what is thought make it we you have to work hard to get your thinking clear what are you thinking remember what happens in your mind will happen in time if you are not careful are you thinking about those failure you see as a man think in his heart so he is when your thinking is clear, God is going to do an amazing thing through you and for you. When your thinking is clear, when your thinking is clear, God is going to do an amazing thing through you and for you. I don't know what you are thinking right now. There is a lot of noise that you have allowed to overwhelm you. 
because of that situation around you. I know our situation talk, but do not submit to the pressure of it. Noise can cause stress. Many have allowed noise of what they feel, what they see, what they hear, what the circumstances look like, even what they taste, to stress them out. Remember, stress is a silent killer. It affects everything in your life. It created anxiety. I mean, being afraid of something that has not even happened, that is anxiety for you. You have to be very careful. Many of us, we are afraid of something that has not even happened. Be careful this morning. Because the enemy knows if you are focused, you are unstoppable. To yourself, the enemy knows that when I am focused, I am unstoppable. I can't hear you. Say to yourself, say the enemy knows that if I am focused, I am unshakable. That is what you must understand. That as you begin this morning, if you stay focused, that victory is for sure for you as the rising of the sun. I don't know what you are going through right now. I don't know the challenges that you are passing through. Please share this link because somebody needs to hear this message. Someone needs to hear this message to get them out of their desperate setback. You see, the enemy knows that when you are focused, you are unshakable. When you are focused, you are unstoppable. Say that to yourself. Say the enemy knows that my situation itself knows that when I'm focused on Christ Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith, I am unshakable. I am unstoppable. Let this be your meditation. That as you begin this morning, I don't know where you have been promised to come for an appointment for job. I don't know the interview you are going for this morning. But always remember that when you are focused, victory is yours this morning as the rising of the sun in the name of Jesus Christ. Stress, you must be very careful. He's a silent killer. It affects everything about your life. It created anxiety itself, being afraid of something that has not even happened. I want to encourage you this morning that there are certain noise in your life that is distracting you at this moment from entering your next season. Yes. There are noise in your situation around you that is distracting you from entering your next season. Many are saying, oh, but I don't know, I've never experienced next season. No, it is because of what you are giving your attention to. What you are giving your attention to is limiting you from entering your next season. I want to encourage you this morning. Do not give in to it. That noise is what is causing nightmare in your life. Because you believe it. Do not allow your thought to put you in bondage. Do not allow your circumstances to put you in bondage. Take control of the noise around you. Stop it by confessing the word of God over your life. Shut it down by speaking good words at all time by doing that you will take it down you have the power within yourself by the grace of god to stop that noise you have the authority in the name of jesus christ the name above all name the bible says at the mention of the name jesus christ all noise must bow and every tongue must confess that jesus christ is the lord of our lives you have the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. 
and stop giving attention to that ugly noise that is telling you that you can't do it, that is making you to think negative over yourself or over your life. Brethren, learn to train yourself, learn to train your mind to be stronger than your feelings. Learn to train your thoughts to be stronger positively than your feelings. Remember, feelings are influenced by senses. What we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we feel around us. Those things that are not stable. It is only the word of God that remains stable. Unshakable confidence. That is the word. It is that word that God used to create you and I at the beginning. Meaning that the word of God is always sharper than the two edges word. That is the situation that you are going through. No matter the challenges you are facing now, always remember that nothing lasts forever. Of course, you have been happy before. Joyful, you shall be happy again. This is your moment of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if you do not even receive the contract, you must always believe that the promise you are given will come. Even if it does not come today, you must trust Jesus that it will come if you do not give up. Many will say, I want God to talk to me about my situation. I want God to tell me about my next woman of God. I've been looking for prophecy. I've been looking for somebody to tell me about my next. But you know that God has been talking to you. But the noise in your mind won't let you hear him clearly. God has been talking to you, brethren. But the noise that you have given your attention to won't allow you to hear him clearly. Remember, mind management is the first priority for an overcomer. If you want to win, if you want to be a successful person, then the first step is to manage your mind. Because what happens in your mind will happen in time. God often talks to you, but the noise around you won't let you hear him clearly. What you give your attention to is preventing you from hearing what God is saying about your situation. What you give your attention to is preventing you, distracting you, distracting you from what God is saying. Maybe God is telling you something that you don't even want to hear. But if you listen to that voice, that, can, that will lead you to the new life that you are asking God for. God is still saying something. If you pay your attention to him, you will know that your battle is not for the strongest. Brethren, learn to let your mind be your servant and not your master. As you begin this morning, provocation may come. Refuse to let them rule you to act out of character. As you begin this morning, people might even lie you. Do not allow provocation to make you to act out of character. Remember Proverbs 25 verse 28 says, He who has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without a wall. Do not let your thinking hold you in bondage. Don't revenge. Maybe somebody hurts you. Do not allow your your, your, your thinking to hold you in bondage. Tick for tat. You are spirits, remember, living in the body. Do not allow your spirit to hold you in bondage. You have the ability to clear that negativity in your thoughts. Clear that negativity through meditation. Remember, meditation in God's word is a visit to God. Learn to be still, brethren, even when everything around you is unquiet, in order to hear what God is saying about your situation. It is a noise that you give your attention to that do not allow you to hear what God is saying. Because every moment, 
God is saying something about you. Learn to be still. Even when everything around you is unstill, you are hot. Be quiet to hear what God is saying about that situation. You are rejected. Be quiet to hear what God is saying. You are lied against. You are persecuted. You are humiliated. You are disappointed. Be quiet first to hear what God has to say about the storm. Because God oftentimes uses foolish situation to bring out the best out of you. You want God to use good situation. No, he will use foolish, stupid situation to bring best out of you. So therefore, brethren, this morning, be still. Do not let the noise of your situation distract you this morning or influence your decision. Do not allow the noise, the challenges to influence your decision. The book of Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, you know, we must focus our eyes. Hebrews 12 verse 2 has exposed the lies of the devil over our lives. Take your time to read the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Because devil is the author of the destruction. And he intends your destruction for destruction. Listen to that. The Bible has exposed devil in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Devil is the author of the noise, the distractions. And he intends your destruction for destruction. You have to be very careful. That his motive is to distract you in order to destroy you. Write that down. That God has exposed the devil in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. His motive, the enemy of our soul, the adversary, the, 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 their motive is to distract us. And their distraction is for destruction. Because he wants you to be distracted because he knew, he knows if you can keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, <laughs> if you can keep your eyes on Christ Jesus, the savior of our life, Christ becomes not only the author and the source of all we need, but the finisher of our dreams, the finisher of our healing, the finisher of our deliverance, the finisher of our breakthrough, redemption and faith. So be careful this morning that the aim of devil is to distract you, he is the author of that noise because he does not want you to hear what God is saying about your situation. And he intends your Destruction for destruction. So be careful because you know that if you can focus on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of your life, your redemption is sure. Your salvation is sure. Your healing is sure as the rising of the sun. Right now, open your heart with faith in your heart. As you begin to take the authority in the name of Jesus Christ right now to shut that noise distracting you from reaching your next season. Come and open your heart and begin to pray right now. Begin to shut every noise that is distracting you from entering your, your next season. That distraction could be just fear around you, could be doubt, could be negativity, could be manipulation, could be unforgiveness, could be doubt, could be offense. Begin to Use every author the authority in the name of Jesus Christ to shut that noise that is distracting you from entering the next season. Open your heart and begin to pray. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, I shut every noise that is distracting me from entering my next season in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to shut. Don't forget as you are shutting it, you have to make it work. Okay? You have to make it work. Open your heart and begin to shut it. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every distraction. Every distraction, 
every destruction in my career. I come against every destruction in my life, in my marriage. I come against every destruction. There are a lot of destruction that the devil has been using to distract many from reaching their dream. There are destruction in your marriage that is making you not to enjoy your marriage. There's distraction in your mind that is making you to believe that that person hates you or that person did not love you. Begin to come against every distraction because devil intend that distraction to destroy you. Begin to come against every tactic of Satan. Begin to come against every distraction in your eyes, every distraction in your nose, every distraction in your ears, every distraction in your mouth, whatever that is causing distraction in your life, the devil is using to limit your progress. Begin to come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to come against as the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, focus on Christ Jesus right now by faith at the cross of Calvary and refuse those distractions in your mind. Refuse those distractions in your health, in your family. Begin to pray. Begin to pray right now. Say, I refuse every distraction that is limiting me from entering my next season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every distraction that is limiting me from, the, my, from entering my next season. I come against every distraction that is distracting me, that is distracting me, that is disfocusing me from entering my next season. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to come against it. 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 I come against every distraction that the devil is using to distract me. In order to destroy me, be it what I hear, be it what I see, be it what I smell, what I taste, or what my circumstances, or the lies somebody told me about somebody. I come against every destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every destruction that the devil is using to limit me from entering my next season. I come against every destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every destruction, be it in my eyes, be it in my nose, be it in my mind. I come against that manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every negativity in my thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mercy of the Lord, whatever influence over your life, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to that. We are in an attitude of prayer. We are in an attitude of prayer right now. Join me and pray along with me. I say whatever negative influence over your life, I declare and decree to your life this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative influence over your mind, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, there's a lot of negativity in your mind. I said every negative influence over your mind, over your thoughts, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released from that mind control in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released from that spirit of mind control in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever Satan is using, listen to this, whatever Satan is using to connect your senses to himself, whatever Satan is using, the adversaries are using to connect your senses to him, to themselves, to manipulate you. I decree and declare to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy is using or Satan is using to connect your senses to himself, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, open your heart and begin to command it. Say, whatsoever that the enemy or Satan is using to connect my senses to himself, I'm released in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm released from that spirit of mind control, every manipulation, every weakness, every fear, every condemnation, every inferiority, low self-esteem. I release myself from every negativity in the name of Jesus Christ. I release, I release myself from every condemnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit oppress you. Every spirit of oppression over your career be released in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your life that spirit that has been oppressing your forward movement be released in the name of Jesus Christ. 
be released from that spirit that has been oppressing your life, your career, your spiritual life. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to that. Whatever spirit has been oppressing your life, you are released in the name of Jesus Christ. Unlimited favor to your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Unlimited mercy to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare to your life this morning, victory over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your oppressors in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mercy of the Lord, you are a victor today and not a victim in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of your victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your, 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 your fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your worries and anxiety in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your noise in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your stress in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over your anxieties in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, anxiety is the fear of something that has not even happened. I come against that spirit of anxiety in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your love this morning. I come against that spirit of anxiety, stealing your joy in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that spirit of anxiety in your life. By the mercy of the Lord, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and open your heart and let us pray against that spirit of anxiety. Because that anxiety is the fear of something that has not even happened. Begin to come against that spirit of anxiety. Begin to come in. Because people have not, so many people have not even experienced fear, failure at all. They have been, even as they are going for that interview, they are already declaring that failure in themselves. What of if it doesn't work? What that anxiety? What of if money did not come? What of if that person did not give me? Why are you stressed about things that have not even happened? Begin to come against every spirit of anxiety. I speak into your life this morning. Whatever situation that seems to create noise, confusion, distraction, unhappiness over your life, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak into your career this morning. Whatever situation that seems to create noise in your business, in your dream, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your health this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever situation that seems to create noise in your health, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your life, to your marriage, to your finances, whatever set of challenges that seems to create noise, unhappiness to your life, be shot in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your finances this morning. Whatever that seems to create fear in your business, create fear in your finances, create fear in your career, be released from that in the name of Jesus Christ. You are released from that noise in the name of Jesus Christ. Every situation that is causing distraction, noise in your life, in your mind, I say, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be peace in your mind. Let there be peace in your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. You need peace, brethren, in the midst of your situation to act intelligently. You need peace to act as Christ would have acted or reacted. As you begin this morning, I want you to be, to be conscious of the people you move with. Be conscious of the people that tends to drag you into their mess. Be conscious of the people who want to drag you into their noise. Be conscious of the people who would like to drag you into their pride, into their foolishness, into their contentment. Be careful. Stop allowing people to drag you into their mess, into their noise. You need to be focused. This season requires you to be stable, to be focused, to be alert, to hear 
what the Spirit is saying to the church and to you. This season requires you not to allow people drag you into their noise, into their foolishness, into their pride, into their lack of self-control, in contentment. This season, brethren, requires you to stay focused, to be alert, to hear what Christ is saying to the church, even to you as a believer. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Jesus says, I do not give peace as the world gives. I pray for you this morning. As you go on your daily activities or you are about to go to bed, may you receive the peace of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive the peace of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, most of man's problems are not so far from five things that we call senses. As you are about to go to bed right now, don't be so confused or worried. Always remember that man's problems are not so far from the five senses. What we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, even what we feel. These five senses keep distracting man from making right decision. When the Bible says we must examine all things in the light of God's word, we must understand that these there are things that are things that are more than what you see, what you hear, what you feel. That is why the Bible encourages us to learn to examine. Everything we see, we smell, we taste, we hear, we feel in the light of God's word. I pray for you today. May the light of Christ light your path this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. As you begin this morning, may the light of Christ, because he is the father of light, may his light light your path in the name of Jesus Christ. May he guide you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, stop living life in distress. Let God change you. Trust Him. You deserve God's best and not less. God is working it hard for you. Just keep trusting and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in jesus but to trust and obey when we walk with the lord in the light of his word what a glory he shares on our way that is the promise of him to you for your life today when we do his good will he abide with us still and with us who will trust and obey. Learn to trust him and obey this morning. By the mercy of the Lord, may your life be blessed today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your marriage, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to your health, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree to everything that has to do with you, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed as you go out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed as you come in in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mercy of the Lord, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Today. No weapon that formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. It is your day of multiplication, not a day of sub subtracting from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will supply all that concerns you according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, as he says in Philippians in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget, brethren, as we are coming to the end of today's program, that the soul which think error is sick. Don't forget that the soul who thinks negative is sick. Be healed from that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. I say be healed from every 
thought of error in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed from that thought of error in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, let the word of Psalm 35 verse 10 be your meditation today. The word of Psalms 35 verse 10. It says, O Lord, all my bones shall say, Who is like unto thee, which deliver the poor from him that is too strong for him? Surely he shall bring his word to pass your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord shall bring his word, according to the book of Psalm 35 verse 10, he shall bring his word to blast in your life in Jesus' name. Begin to thank him and share your testimony right now. Begin to share your testimony right now. Thank him for the day that he has gone ahead of you. He is one step ahead of you. Thank him for the protection. Thank him for healing your mind. Thank him for supplying all your needs. Thank him for setting you free from that anxiety, from that stress. Thank you for removing every noise, every distraction of the devil. Thank you for saving you from that destruction that the devil has been using to distract you from entering into your next season. Because distraction of the devil is for his destruction. I know that destruction is not for your portion in the name of Jesus. But learn to focus. When you are focused on Christ Jesus, you, you receive all by his mercy and his favor in the name of jesus christ don't forget to share your testimony send us your testimony to the glory of god about how god has showed up for you in the name of jesus christ if you have a testimony from the previous broadcast don't forget to send, send the testimony to the number that is appearing right now on the screen of your television and if you want to join the partnership the information is right there scrolling on the screen of your television don't forget that Jesus Christ is the Lord. If you want to join us in changing life, changing nation, changing the world, and you need more information, you can send us your message and we will get back to you to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Don't forget that someone needs your testimony to get them back out of their desperate self. Send your testimony to the glory of God in Jesus' name. forget that true peace is not only in absence of conflict true peace is not only in positive thinking true peace is not only in good feelings but it is in knowing that god is in control believe that the one who is in control the one who created you is in control and he will not leave you, nor forsake you in Jesus' name. Keep faith, keep steady in an unsteady word. Don't forget your meditation today, as it says in Psalm 35, verse 10. God bless you and love you, for Christ love you more. Keep faith in Jesus' name. Don't forget to share this link and don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the link to the glory of God. And let me know what you have learned and how this message this morning has blessed you on the comment section. Make sure you like and let us know so that this message can go around to a lot of people. Don't forget, it is important to share your testimony to the glory of God. We love you and I can't wait to share.